Hello everybody, welcome to another breakdown, this time for Tour 10, the shootouts on Tour 10, which is the par 3s. This is the Club Oceania that we are going to have a look, and Tour 10 has always been considered to be one of the toughest uh, course, uh, not course, the tours there is out there. And I think mainly that is due to the fact that that, uh, that is the last uh, tour where we do play from second tee before we go over to third tee and there's loads of people staying there for a very long time also like one thing to enjoy playing from the second tee but also that they feel that they might may not be ready to go up on the tour 11 and onwards um before we are having a look at everything in this video, we're going to have a look at the courses and the par 3s uh, especially. We're also going to have a little talk about what type of club and ball that we do see as key here on this tour to do well. Also show an example guide of the exclusive tour shootout guide. Those are the best shootout guides on the market by far, giving you an easy way to make sure that you will always win more than 50% of the games. And that is something that everyone can do, but you obviously need to know how to get close to the shootout. And that you can do without having to spend any money on balls, you know, paid balls and stuff like that, as all our guides are free to play. When it comes to getting the guides, you scan the QR code here on the screen, or you go directly to patreon.com, Slash golf clash uh, Tommy. Have in mind that you can bundle the bundle together the shootout guides with tournament guides if you would like, and also bundle it together with checkpoint challenge guides, or you can just buy it alone. We have loads and something for each and every one. Scan the QR code here on the screen or use the link in the description down below. Let's have a look at the breakdown. The easiest way to have a look at all the courses for any tour, but also when it comes to all types of content for tournaments and bowling for clubbing for you name it, we have something for everyone here on GolfClashTommy.com. And this website is for free, so make sure to bookmark it and just browse through and you will see loads of stuff in here. But we're going to take a look at the shootouts. So we press shootouts here and we scroll and click on tour number 10. And we can see we do have Maple Bay, White Cliffs, Golf Club and we do have Drummer Links. And we're going to start with Maple Bay. Now we play from the second tee. We already made a little breakdown for Maple Bay from the third tee. But we're playing uh, everything almost exactly the same. Hole number three, we're bouncing on the left side more or less every time. There's a rough bump there as well, but it's very interesting, and that is only from the second tee. Hole number six, here it differs quite a bit, because here we're playing a rough bump by the green more or less every time. And the reason for that is that we now are in range with the sniper, and the sniper here is a club with a lot of accuracy, which means that even if you do hit a minor grade on either side, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be super duper safe. Hole number eight, we play exactly the same as we do from any tee here. We bounce on the fairway before the rough and the green and try to get it close. White Cliffs Golf Club ish is by far one of the toughest constellation when it comes to or compilation when it comes to uh, par threes. All of the, these three here, if you are fairly close to green then you're gonna have yourself a win hole number two we are bouncing on the fairway before everything roll with a quite a decent amount of top spin or i mean or a little backspin if it's tailwind to get the ball to pin hole number four bounce on the pad before all the water in some wind angles in the more headwind ones we are in that case going for a lot of backspin instead that's why we do have a specific suggestion for a key club here as well which will be uh, talked about in more in a little bit hole number seven we're using uh, a little backspin play to try to control the ball to stop on the green because it's a very bumpy uneven fairway that we bounce on and it's very easy to go long on the green as well when it comes to the drum or links i enjoy drum or links i really do and hole number two is the toughest of them three where we are just trying to get the ball to green but it's not as easy as it looks though very easy to fall down left and if you fall too far left you will roll off the green and you will go into the rough and then you may just lose by your opponent getting the ball easily to green hole number four you can use a lot of backspin or you can just bounce before the rough and the sand instead depends on what you feel confident with hole number seven we always play into a big funnel there by the rough bump but it's so wind dependent and there are a lot of glitch holes there too so we're bouncing before the rough and the sand 
uh, by, uh, taking away the glitch roll uh, completely from the equation and trying to get ourselves close. I would say hold 7 is definitely the one of the easier ones of all the shootouts here on tour number 10. Let's have a look at the club and the ball that we do suggest. I'm going to talk about two clubs here as key clubs for tour number 10. One is the Thor's Hammer. And the reasoning for Thor's Hammer is that even in the lower levels, you do get a decent amount of backspin. And the backspin will be extremely helpful on some of the par 3s that we're thinking about. Sure, you may have an Apoch 5 with a little bit more yardage on the drive and stuff like that. But we're thinking mainly about shootouts here. That's how we build our bags. We're not building the bags to have a little longer drives on the par 4s and the par 5s. We're building the bag to be good at the par 3s because, I mean, I don't know the exact number, but I would bet that 99% of all the games that's being played is gone is going to shoot out so the backspin very big key when it comes to the driver part here on tour number 10 when it comes to something else here which is the sniper and the sniper as well i believe is key as we do value the ball guideline and also when it comes from the second tee we're not really in the need of all the power as we do from the third tee such as when we do suggest a cataclysm there but now one from the second tee we take our gamble with even if we do have some long par fours and par fives that as we do play from the second tee we shall be getting enough distance for, uh, from tee to get ourselves to uh, to a spot where the sniper won't be an issue on the second shot or the third shot for that matter when it comes to uh, the ball that we do suggest that is the titan and now you could obviously argue with okay why can't i play katana yes you can but we do see the titan as a perfect ball that's very rarely being used and a ball that we do get in chests as well along the way so many players have stocked up with some titans ov over time that the Titan is a perfect ball to allow us to never struggle on the par 4s and par 5s, even in headwind. Allow us to keep playing with the Sniper, as that is very good for us. And then also have a decent situation when it comes to the shootouts, without having any problems with distance or having to go in between clubs and stuff like that. So those are our suggestions for ball and club uh, on Tour 10. So oh, an example guide here to give you some more direct information of what you can expect by signing up with exclusive tour shootout guides. You can choose a tour from tour 7 up to tour 13 and get immediate access. Scan the QR code here on the screen or go to patreon.com slash gold clash Tommy and sign up. You can bundle that together with tournament and checkpoint challenge if you like or you just buy it alone. If you do have any questions you can always email support at goldclashtommy.com and the guys will help you out there before signing up live clickable links to useful places including exclusive telegram tour chat yes we do have a telegram chat where you can ask questions directly to us that has created the guide proper version control so you know which version of the guide you have general advice page to give you information of what ball and power ball setting we are suggesting you to play recommended ball driver and also wood club to list um some information there as well because obviously we want you to play with the clubs that we have designed the shots for and that we do believe is the best for the particular tour sometimes that can change depending on what type of course they put on the tour now we have some uh curl pictures as well and then we have menu slide with easy to identify whole images to take you straight to the hole that you need saving time let's uh, click on this one and you can see what that we jump directly to this one home button takes you back to the menu slide easy navigate navigation pressing that one we jump back very easy to do and then we do have the landing spot pictures nearly always before spin simple yes and that is the key with being a good tour player is to be able to uh, play regardless what wind angle and e then in an easy way find the spot that you want to uh, have your landing uh, like your club in so always trying to design shots before spin this will, will allow you to regardless what wind angle you have when you start to find that position easily and then you can just add spin and then obviously whatever curl and adjustment that you need eight wind specific info boxes to give you the adjustment spin and curl and this is something you might be used for when it comes to the golden shot we go with a similar type of format to give you you can see the adjustment and then the spins and then the curl whole overview and landing spots here we are marking with an x 
uh, to where we do want to have the ball to land with our first bounce. And then key written advice and instructions, easy to follow. If there's something to think about, especially to explain the landing position is something that we're using that box for. So there you do have an example guide. You can see how easy it is to actually follow this and and it's um, it will help you win more than 50% of the games. Thank you so much everybody for watching this breakdown for Tour 10, the shootouts here on a very difficult uh, tour has always been for the Maple Bay and we're looking at White Cliffs Golf Club and also the Drumhorn links. Make sure to sign up for the exclusive tour shootout guides by scanning the QR code here on the screen or use the link in the description down below. Have in mind that we do not just offer tour guides, we offer something for each and every player in Golf Clash. Make sure to sign up, start as low as $1.50 and get a feel for it. Thank you once again for watching and wish you the best of luck in your Golf Clash game.